I'm sure many of you will be familiar with the name Jade Redmond as of course she left Ubisoft at the end of last year before joining EA a few months after. Now of course before she left Ubisoft she was pretty key in numerous franchises that they have including of course Assassin's Creed and of course Splinter Cell Blacklist and now it has come to light that she is working on an Assassin's Creed style game for EA. Now just in case you weren't aware, she actually now heads her own studio called Motive over at EA. Now of course when they announced that she was joining them back in July, they did reveal that her studio will be working with Visceral on Amy Hennig's Star Wars game which we basically know nothing about. However, Motive's future, apart from this, is set in the action adventure genre. And I have a bit of a statement here from Blake Jorgensen, EA CFO, who spoke about this at the UBS Global Technology Conference. And he said, quote, We've never really operated in the largest genre of gaming, and that's the action genre. That's the Assassin's Creed style games, more open world, more single play versus multiplayer. It's not been an area that we've operated in. We recently hired Jade Redmond, who is behind the Assassin's Creed franchise for Ubisoft, and she will be building an action genre for us through a studio we're building out in Montreal right now. So, a lot of excitement around the action genre. So basically, EA is making a new IP, which basically never happens. And of course, they have done it before, with Mirror's Edge and Dead Space, both of which Oh, pretty damn good. Mirror's Edge is kind of a mixed bag, depending on who you ask. Dead Space, of course, spawned franchise, and while the third game, the less said about that, the better. The first two are definitely good, and of course, Mirror's Edge getting a reboot. Still, it'd be interesting to see what Jade has to offer. It'd be interesting to see how this action genre game, whatever it ends up being, what the setting, characters, whatever, it'd be interesting to see how it actually competes against Assassin's Creed. Now, of course, Assassin's Creed Syndicate is definitely a return to form after the disappointing Unity, but it still suffers from the Assassin's Creed problem of very little innovation and kind of still being stuck in the same safe Assassin's Creed rut. And it'd be interesting if Jade Studio could actually do an Assassin's Creed style game, but actually kind of go past where Assassin's Creed has gotten stuck and make the innovations that perhaps Ubisoft should have made. That would actually be really interesting to see, and it might actually give Ubisoft a bit of a slap and kind of force them to be like, oh god, there's actually a competitor in the market now. You know, a very a game in the similar genre, similar open world style, and they're kind of out innovating us. We better get our act together, guys. Maybe I'm just dreaming. I probably am. I've just fallen asleep on my microphone without realizing. But still, I would love to see that. An actual competitor to Assassin's Creed, and that would actually force Ubisoft to innovate while in itself being an excellent game you know, made by a studio that's headed by the one of the key people behind the Assassin's Creed franchise. Alright, okay, I am totally down for that. So I'm looking forward to finding out what it actually is. We probably won't find out for a while, of course we don't even know what Amy Hennig's Star Wars game is, so imagine that we'll probably be waiting at least a few months before we get any information on this, but still, my interest is piqued. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time.